My name is Cesar Brisenio. I'm an assistant professor of ophthalmology at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'd like to speak with you about taking care of transgender patients. Our transgender patients are an underserved population who face a tremendous amount of stigma and healthcare disparities. There are things that we can do to create more inclusive environments in order to help them to obtain better care and to start chipping away at the health disparities that are so prevalent. One of the main things that we can do is be non-judgmental. We want to use language that is inclusive, and we want to train our front desk staff in order to teach them how to appropriately ask questions about gender identity and how to use gender neutral language when it's applicable. The other things that we can do are structural. In our, op in our waiting rooms, we can use gender neutral bathroom signs that are single occupancy. We can also use intake forms that are more open-ended so that patients may utilize both preferred and legal names as appropriate in their documentation. At the end of the day, kindness is the crux of making an inclusive environment. There are things that we want to do in our terms of our body language and in terms of how we speak to our patients to make them understand that they are welcome and that we want to take the best care of them that we can. This is a fundamental human right, according to the World Health Organization, and it's our responsibility to deliver care in the best manner possible. So please take the time to educate yourself about gender identity issues so that you may be better prepared to deliver care to this underserved population.